Hi everyone, my name is Karen, this is my channel Rather Be Reading, and today I'm bringing to you a reading vlog. Hi guys, it is 8.19pm on Sunday the 24th of June, welcome to a new reading vlog. Um, I've actually been out basically all day today, I had soccer this morning and my game was away and it was like quite far away, um, and... Then we went to watch my brother's team play, and they were playing also away, quite far away. Um, and then I came home, and I got home about, I think it was about 6, and then I had a little power nap. And then I came home, came out to the lounge to watch the first half of State of Origin. It's half time right now, game 2. Blues are up by 2 points. Go Blues. So, that's what I'm doing. You guys don't really care about that. In terms of a reading update, so I mentioned in the last clip of the last vlog that I was going to finish Becoming Darkness yesterday. Didn't quite happen. So last night I was just, I watched a movie and I was kind of watching a bit of TV and wasn't really doing much reading. I did read a little bit, but I still have not finished Becoming Darkness and I haven't read anything so far today because like I said, I've been out like all day. I'm on page 390. So I think there's 460. Something if I recall. I want to 480 something. So I've got about 90 pages to go. I'm still hoping to finish this tonight. I want to return this um, to the library on the way to knitting tomorrow. Um, and I also just want to have this done and be able to move on to something new. Um, yeah. That's it, I think, for this clip. Nothing too exciting to report. Not a lot of reading to report. Um... Yeah, that's it. I think I will talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow. I'll be continuing on with my audiobook um, of The Librarian of Auschwitz, which I started last week. And hopefully I'll have my thoughts on Becoming Darkness for you guys. And I'll be able to tell you the new book, hopefully, that I've started, because hopefully I'm finish finishing Becoming Darkness tomorrow. Tonight, I mean. So yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I get home from work. Bye guys. Hi guys. I'm just going to apologize up front if this is a really loud clip with the background noise. I just un like packaged some book packages and Winnie is going absolutely mental over the packaging. So that's why I'm sitting here in front of my bookshelves because I just filmed a clip to like insert into my book haul because I was too impatient to too impatient, too impatient to open the book packages, but I wanted to get my reaction on camera. Anyway, so it is 6 p.m. exactly on Monday, the 25th of June. Um, I just got home from work a little while ago. Like I said, filmed that clip. Um, and now I've got about 10 minutes before, 10 to 15 minutes before I need to leave for knitting. So I wanted to give you guys an update on my reading. So yesterday I ended up reading practically nothing because I suck. I totally, totally suck. And then I don't know what happened this morning for... I ended up sleeping through my alarm. Um, and I was over an hour late to work, which meant that I had to work through my lunch break, which meant that I didn't get to read on my lunch break and I didn't read on my commute in. But I did manage to power through and finish Becoming Darkness on my bus ride home, which was great because I want to return it on the way to the library. Um, so, because it is overdue. So, thoughts. I have mixed, I'm not really mixed, I didn't like it basically. I was worried that my rating, like my feelings about it were a bit, um, skewed by the fact that it did take me out a while to get through, but I don't think that that's it. I think one of the reasons it took me a while to get through was because I wasn't enjoying it, because even though, yes, I have been busy, haven't had as much time to read as I would like, I also, like, could have read it more than what I did, but I just wasn't enjoying it enough to, like, make me pick it up. So the premise is really strong. I don't think I've talked about the premise in this video, so just to recap, this is a story about, it's set in kind of an alternate universe where um, Hitler won the war by releasing a kind of genetic virus that turned most of the population into vampires, and then... There was also some people who kind of mutated from that and became what is known as immunes, and their blood is um, poison to vampires, and then basically everyone else died. So the vampires now don't have a food source, like a human food source. They can drink animal blood, but everyone else who kind of is alive that's human is immune to the vampire. 
like a curse and so all of the people who are immune live on a island called haven and that's like their community there's about two million of them like it's not a small community like it's a city um and they live there and we follow a main character named sophie who at the start of the novel her best friend is murdered and then you kind of get her <laughs> when he just tried to jump onto the chair and didn't quite make it oh it's okay um so The main romance in this book is super sketchy. I can't go into why it's really weird without spoiling some aspects of the book, but trust me when I say there are some elements to the romance that just left me going, ooh. So there was that. I also, the pacing of the book felt really off. I felt really disconnected from the writing and the main character. I think the book would have been better served by having more of a mystery aspect to it. You have this main character whose best friend's been murdered and then like from the kind of the start of the novel she's starting to feel like there's all these different things going on and there's people watching her and things like that but that's never really like the main thread of the novel that you're following. The mystery aspect It's more about the kind of political overarching part of the plot which like would be okay but I just wasn't that into that part of the novel. I just um I just wasn't loving it. I don't, I don't know. I think that the premise was great, but the execution was just a little off. So I didn't love it. I think I'm going to give it a 2.5 stars. I don't think it was like a bad book, except for the romance. But yeah, I don't really have any much thoughts apart from that. I have also continued on with the audiobook today for The Librarian of Auschwitz. I am, oh, why do I always accidentally hit play? Um, I am 52% of the way through, and I've been listening to this for three days already. So, again, this has taken me a long time to get through. I've considered DNFing this book, and I think I'm going to mull on it overnight whether I'm going to DNF it. Um, it's not a DNF in that I am really disliking the book. It's a DNF in that I don't think this is the right time for this book. I just I can't get into it. I'm too busy at work to concentrate enough on this book, and I just, I just can't get into it. And every time something happens, I'm like... Oh wait, is this that character? Like, I'm just, I just can't immerse myself in the book. I think the way that I need to, particularly because this is a World War II novel set in Auschwitz, so I should be feeling really emotionally connected to the story, and I'm just not. I mean, I did tear up at one point today, but ugh, I can cry at the drop of the hat, so it's not unusual. But for me, for the level of emotion that I should be feeling for this novel, I'm just not there. So it's not a DNF in that I would never pick it up again. Like, it's one that if I come across it again in future, I might pick it up and give it another go at a better, like, time when I could maybe concentrate on the book a bit better. I don't think maybe the audio is the best medium for me to listen to this book in because I just don't think it's allowing me to immerse myself in the story the way that I need to. So... That's it. I have got through those library books. I already have a couple more library due dates creeping up on me, but I'm going to take a little break and try to get a couple of other books read before I move back to any more library books. But that is it. I will. I don't know how much more reading I'll get done tonight. I will start something else new probably before I go to bed, but I do have knitting group. So, yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow and let you know what new book I picked up, whether I ended up DNFing The Librarian of Auschwitz, and if so, which audiobook I've moved on to because I do have several audiobooks lined up that I can move on to. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye guys. Hi guys, it is 5.53pm on Tuesday the 26th of June. Um, I just got home from work a little while ago. I have a couple of goals that I wanted to achieve tonight. So basically I wanted to change the kitty litter, which I've already done, do a load of washing, which I'm have just put into the machine um and i need to wash my hair winifred baby careful oh sometimes she gets stuck on the curtains you guys should see the curtains in my house since i've got the cat they are destroyed anyway so um yes i've got you know some things i want to achieve but i feel like i've already done a whole a lot of the things that i want to achieve so feeling good um I'm also thinking I'm going to have a lot of time to read tonight because I don't have anything going on and I'm going to be up late tonight, later than usual, because the final um, group match for Australia in the World Cup is on tonight and it's on at 11 and I'm definitely staying up to watch because it's potentially the last game Australia will be playing in the World Cup, although fingers crossed, if we beat Peru 
and France beat Denmark, then we make it through. But I, I have, I, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. So yeah, I'm going to be staying up later. Like normally I would be heading to bed around 9.30. And I'm going to not be watching the stock until at least 11. And I've got nothing going on basically between now and 11. So I'm hoping to get a lot of booktube watched and read a lot. So in terms of a reading update from where I was at when I spoke to you guys yesterday, I started a new book today. Not a library book. What a novelty. So I'm reading one of my Kindle backlist books. I'm reading The Night Girl by Amy Cross. And I am... 26% of the way through. So I started it last night and I read about 7% last night. And then I've read just under 20% today. I didn't get as much read today as what I probably could have, but them's the breaks. So this is a adult horror suspense kind of book. It basically follows a girl named Juliet who is starting a new job as the night girl at a retirement home. So basically the retirement homes had all these budget cuts and whatever, and they can only afford to hire, like they've got one nurse that's like on shift and then the night girl, which is Juliet. And she's hired to basically help the nurse, you know, watch over the patients, make sure they don't wander off, get up in the night, wander off, blah, blah, blah. And that's what she does. So she goes to the retirement home and discovers that recently a nurse or some kind of worker at the retirement village recently committed suicide or like died, I'm pretty sure committed suicide in one of the like wards and that ward is being closed off. It's now like the abandoned ward and some creepy shit starts to go down. So I'm actually enjoying it more than I thought. I'm always skeptical with my backlist Kindle books because they're generally free self-published books. Um, and not to say that there aren't good free self-published books out there, out there because there are, but a lot of the ones that I seem to come across are not great. I'm really enjoying this so far for the most part. The 7% that I read last night was so, like, creepy and, like, a really, like, oh, it was good. Um, and I'm really, I've enjoyed the 20% that I've read so far today. So our main character, Juliet, you know, pretty much, like, kind of from the get-go, you really start to get the vibe that she's not your typical girl, that maybe she has some thought patterns and some desires and things that aren't the norm the norm, so to speak. Um, so yeah, that's been really good. I also started a new audiobook. So I haven't officially DNF'd the librarian of Auschwitz. So what I decided to do was move on from that to another book and listen to that and then decide whether I want to go back to the librarian of Auschwitz once I finish it, because I don't think it will have expired. If it expires, then decision made for me. But if it hasn't expired yet, I'll see how I feel when I finish the new audiobook and decide whether I want to go back to it. So I started listening today to The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. I am 31% of the way through. So I already made like way more progress in this today than I made in, you know, any of the days that I was listening to The Librarian of Auschwitz. So this is a interesting book. I've never really heard anything about it, but it's basically about a woman who is the daughter of um, Dr. Jekyll. Sherlock Holmes is also in it. Um, there's like a whole bunch of like kind of literary like characters from that type of time period who kind of appear um, in this. Um, I'm trying to see what it says. I don't... So basically... At the start of the novel, Mary, the main character's mother, has passed away and she discovers the daughter of Mr. Hyde, um, that her mother was, like, paying money to, like, keep this girl, like, in a kind of school type thing. And Mr. Hyde is the best friend and murderer, I think it says, of her father, Dr. Jekyll. Um, that's kind of where it kicks off from. I don't know. Like, I'm into it. I'm actually enjoying it. I quite enjoy... I don't know, I'm quite enjoying the way that the story is told. So the story is told through one of the characters. Ah! Oh, apologies. I've got a massive tower of books perched over on the uh, corner of the coffee table um, that I haven't moved in, like, out of the lounge room yet. And when he keeps, like, resting her paws onto it, and she's for sure going to knock it off eventually. And I'm trying to avoid that happening, which means I should move the pile. But, you know. Anyway, so... 
the story is being told by one of the characters who's like writing down what happened. And so you've got her telling the story, but then you get commentary from the other characters on the, that character's storytelling. So they'll be like, that's not what happened. I never said that, or I was never thinking that. And like the kind of band are going back and forth between the characters, which I really enjoy. So it's, it's a pretty interesting kind of storytelling technique and I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, for the most part. So yeah, I haven't really got too like into the meat. So there's, in addition to kind of what I've said, there's some murders going on in London. So that's kind of like, we're dealing a little bit with that as well. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what's going on with that. Like I said, I'm like 31% of the way through, did I say? So yeah, and I've got a lot of time to read tonight. So hopefully when I talk to you guys tomorrow, what an exciting day tomorrow is, I will have much more to report to you guys. But yeah, I'm going to go now because I'm going to take a shower and wash my hair so I can check off my third and final goal for the night. And yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. It is 5.35 p.m. on Wednesday, the 27th of June. And you know what that means. Well, you won't find me in a club. You'll find me at home, sitting on my bed, just getting home from work. So, it is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And yeah, I spent the day at work because adults, you know. Um, so I actually had a really lovely day today for the most part, apart from, you know, being at work. Um, I'm wearing new Swarovski earrings that my friend Emma sent me for my birthday. Thank you so much, Emma. My friend Tina sent me like I'll put a picture of it here. It was like an edible blooms thing and they're like little mini donut balls in like a bouquet thing. Smelled real good and I ate one of them. I saved the rest for tomorrow. Um, some colleagues from work surprised me with a birthday lunch, um, which was really lovely. So overall, not too bad for a day spent at work. Um, and I'm just home. I have soccer training tonight, which is a big boo, but again, adult responsibilities. So yeah, that's my birthday. In terms of a reading update, I haven't made, well, it depends how you look at it. So I made quite a bit of reading progress last night because I was up quite late because as I mentioned, Australia were playing in the final group match of the World Cup and we lost. So we're out, which sucks, but you know, it was kind of to be expected. Um, so I got a lot read last night. So last night I made it to 47% of the way through um, The Night Girl. Um, I was pretty happy with that. It means I read a total of 40% yesterday. I should mention that the version of the book that I'm reading, I think when it was originally released, it was like released in like seven or eight parts. And I'm reading what is kind of like a bind up of all eight parts. So it's like the complete novel, but it is almost 500 pages. So... Um, I did get about 40% of it read yesterday, so I was pretty happy with that. Today, however, I have not read that much. I'm on 58% of the way through, so like I said, I went out to lunch today, and so I just didn't get as much reading time, but that is totally fine because I was celebrating my birthday. Um, I have also been listening to um, the audiobook, uh, The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. Haven't made as much progress on that either because I had two different teleconferences today. Two! And the second one took over an hour. So, didn't have as much reading time. So, I'm only 44% of the way through that now. I am still enjoying that. Like I said, I really enjoy kind of the storytelling of kind of like, almost like a story within a story type of thing. That's it. Like I said, not sure how much reading I'll get done tonight because, not going to lie to you guys, I think I'm going to take a little power nap before training because I was up watching the World Cup um, it didn't start till 11.30. I didn't get to bed till about 1.30. Um, so I'm pretty tired. Um, and so I think I'm going to take a little power nap before training. But hopefully I can at least get some reading done in the night, girl, before I go to bed. Um, but yeah, that's it for this update on this day, the day of my birth. Well, not the anniversary of the day of my birth, I guess. My birthday. Indeed. So that's it. 
I will talk to you guys when I get home from work tomorrow. Bye guys. Hi guys, it is 8.08 p.m. on Friday the 29th of June. It's been a little while since I updated you guys because I didn't end up filming a clip yesterday. Yesterday I rushed home from work, literally had time to get changed and then I had to go to my nephew's birthday dinner. My nephew's birthday is actually on the 3rd of July but my brother-in-law's father and stepmother were visiting and they're they were leaving today, so they wanted to ha have my nephew's birthday dinner before they left. So I went to that last night, um, and so I didn't end up filming an update. I also ended up staying. We had quarterly drinks at work tonight that I stayed for for a bit. Um, and then I timed it poorly with when I left, and I ended up having to wait over almost 25 minutes for a bus, and it was freezing, um, and I didn't end up getting home till about, it was after seven, and then I had to, I felt really bad for poor little Winnie, because she was starving for her dinner when I got home, and then I fed her, and then I had to do her flea and heartworm stuff, uh, which is always an experience, so I did that, and then I was also listening to the end of the audiobook, which I'll be talking about in a minute, because I only had like 30 minutes to go, and I didn't want to leave that small portion of it over the weekend, so I have just been lazing here listening to the rest of it, and yes, I am already in my pyjamas, I've turned the heating on in my place. It's goddamn freezing. I'm under the covers in my bed already in my <laughs> pajamas. So, I haven't been making great progress in my reading. I'm definitely in kind of a slump. I don't really go through like your typical slumps. I've just been so busy and so tired that I just haven't been making reading as much of a pri as much of a priority. That's not. I can't speak words. I haven't been making it a priority the way that I usually do. And I think it's not helped by, I haven't been reading too many books that have been like really exciting me to pick them up. Um, so, yes. But I do have books to talk to you about because I finished two books today. So I finally finished today, on the bus on the way home, I finished The Night Girl by Amy Cross. This is the horror story about the girl who works at a retirement home. The beginning of this, I think I said, was pretty strong. I had read, like, just, like, 7% of it, and it was really creepy, and I felt really good about it. It went pretty much steadily downhill from there. Um, this is, I believe, a self-published book, so the editing is really bad. It's one of the worst books I've ever read in terms of, like, mistakes and grammatical errors and... There were so many times where, like, a wrong character name was used. Just stuff to the point where I was, like, surely even just, like, a cursory glance over the story you would pick up on a lot of these. Like, how do you use wrong... I understand in writing, like, you could use the wrong character names, but, like, when you read it back, do you not realise that you're talking about, like, you've used the wrong name? Like, I don't understand how, like... Anyway. So that was, like, it really takes you out of the story when you're like, wait, what character are we talking about? Because you just called her whatever and that's not her name. Oh, it was it was a thing, and like I say, so many mistakes and like wrong words and typos and all kinds of things. The story was also got progressively less and less believable, and like it's a horror, so there is an element to that. But just stuff that was like general, normal kind of plot points that I was just like, that wouldn't happen. So she works at a retirement home. And I really, I don't want to place any judgment on Lothar, but I really don't feel like she researched that heavily into how a retirement home would work. And to be completely fair, I am not, I've never worked in a retirement home. I don't have much experience with that. But it did not seem believable. Um, and then there was some kind of like a twist put into it at the end, which was fine. But I was then like, well, there's a whole lot of stuff that doesn't make sense if that's the case. So, and then the end, I really didn't like. There was like a like two or three page epilogue that I was just like, Phew. like, what was the point of that? I just, I didn't end up liking it. I'm giving it two stars. Wasn't a huge fan. I also, as I just mentioned, finished my audiobook. So this is the audiobook for... The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. Is that what this is called? Hold on. 
The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. So I think I kind of vaguely mentioned what this was about. It's a historical fiction that is following the daughter of Dr. Jekyll. We also have the daughter of Mr. Hyde making an appearance. We have a female Frankenstein related character. We have a daughter of Dr. Moreau. We have Sherlock and Watson. We have, there's a whole lot of characters from literature, like historical literature. And I believe it's, I think they're all supposed to be like the daughters of like the mad scientists of literature. Um, and it's pretty feminist, which I liked. There's no real romance to speak of in the story. And all of the characters are very like strong. Like a lot of them are really interested in science. And the main character, the main character that we kind of follow is Do um, Dr. Jekyll's daughter. And she is at the side of the story. Her mother has just died and her father had died years before. And her mother's now died. And you get a lot of her like thinking about how she can run a household on her own and where the money's going to come from and things like that that, I don't know, I thought it was pretty feminist, which I appreciated. Um, one thing, I enjoyed the story. It was enjoyable. It was pretty humorous. I think I mentioned that I really enjoyed the type of storytelling that it is that we have one of the characters is writing the story of kind of their adventures of what happened. And so she's writing the story and then you get the other characters all commenting on her storytelling and be like, that's not what happened. I would never have said that and things like that. So it was pretty humorous. I liked that. But I would say, like, maybe the last quarter to a third of the book is all conclusion. Like, the main, like, plot kind of wraps up, and then it's just a big, long kind of conclusion of the story, which I felt like was a bit dragged out and, like, unnecessary. But it was really enjoyable. I did enjoy it. And I believe this is the first book in a series, and this kind of, like, band of women were going to follow... Um, who are called the Athena Club, we are going to follow in future stories. And I believe the second book in it is published next month in July. So hopefully my library gets that on audio as well, and then I can continue on with that. But it was enjoyable. I'm giving that a 3.5 stars. It was pretty enjoyable. So that's it. I finished the two books. Now, how long do I have left on that other audiobook? I'm going to check because I don't, I don't feel the urge necessarily to go back to it, but I won't be listening to anything now until Monday. So, like, maybe by then I want to go back to it if I still have it out. How long do I have left? I have 10 days left on it, so it is possible that I could continue listening to that next week, but I'm not sure. So I may finish The Librarian of Auschwitz. I may officially DNF it. Still to be decided, but I do have two other audiobooks on here, so I'll definitely be listening to more audiobooks next week. But that'll be in July, so that'll be a whole new vlog. Um, so in terms of my plans for the weekend, in case you're interested, so tomorrow I've got coffee and such. I've got a game tomorrow night. I don't think I've got anything else going on tomorrow. And then Sunday. Oh, Winnie. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, sometimes she just likes to leap at me. And now she's literally balancing on, please do not look at my bedside table and how, don't put your hand over the camera. You're poor. I mean, she doesn't have hands. Honey. Okay, I can't film with you there. You're making me do an even uglier angle than what it already was. Oh, and she's off. Okay, apologies for the interruption. So, yes, then on Sunday, my niece does have a game, but it's at 8.30 in the morning, and it's over an hour away. We are going. <laughs> my, my parents aren't going to go because we were just like, we go to most of her games, but that's a real commitment. Um... I believe we'll be going to my brother's team. My brother has been injured for about eight weeks. Not like, I mean, like as in injured from sport. He's not like, he's fine normally, but he, like, he just hasn't been able to play soccer. So um, I think maybe he's going to be playing this weekend, but I'm not sure. He may be giving it another week, but we'll probably be going to that because they're playing at home. So anyway, we're going to that. And then Sunday night is my birthday dinner to celebrate my birthday because, as I'm sure you guys saw, it was my birthday on Wednesday. And we're having cupcakes. And I'm really excited about it. But that will be in another vlog as well. Because that's happening on the 1st. So, that's it. That's my reading. That's my plans for the weekend. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. 
probably from the car park of the library, let's be real. And yeah, that is it. I will talk to you guys then. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. It is 11.47 a.m. on Saturday, the 30th of June. This will be the last clip for this vlog because it's the last day of June um, in the library car park. I don't have a lot to report. I haven't read anything since I spoke to you guys. So when I spoke to you guys last night, I was like, oh, I'll just like watch a few booktube videos, um, maybe read a couple of chapters of my book. I fell asleep almost immediately after filming that video and slept straight through basically until morning with a minor detour at 1 a.m. when I got up to turn off the lights and the heating and all of those things. So yeah, it wasn't a super productive evening, but was enjoyable because I loved me a good sleep. Um, so today I've been out for coffee. I have, what else have I done? I've just been at home after I got back from coffee. I changed the kitty tr litter tray and then I just took all of my cans and bottles and things to the recycling plant. Got my $13 refund for all my cans, which was awesome. And now I'm just at the library. I don't have anything going on this afternoon. Um, I have soccer tonight, but in the evening, I don't have anything going on. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm hoping to get some reading done this afternoon. I do want to, so the only thing I really need to do this afternoon is edit this vlog. I want to get this vlog uploaded tonight. I really want to try to be better with my uploading schedule in uh, July because I haven't been super fantastic about that the last couple of months. It's been very like sketchy <laughs> so I'd like to be better about that in July so yeah I think that is it I'm gonna go into the library I'm gonna play soccer tonight and then I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow so tomorrow I believe we're going to my brother's team's game my brother isn't playing but we're gonna go to his watch his team um, and then we've got my birthday dinner tomorrow night but during the day tomorrow like my brother's um, team like, will probably go watch like the reserve as well, but they don't play till like 1. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to have a little bit of a sleep in in the morning and then get some filming done in the morning because I want to film my wrap-up and TBR and things, but I don't want to film those today because the month hasn't ended yet. And so I can't film the wrap-up and stuff because I need to do work out all of my statistics and stuff and I won't know all of that stuff until the month is over. So hopefully I'll be able to work all that out tomorrow morning and then film a couple of videos, relax a little bit in the morning and then go to soccer and birthday dinner and things like that. But you've got to see all, see all of that and hear all of that in the new vlog. So I'll talk to you guys then. Bye guys. Oh yeah, and there'll be an outro after this so you'll see the outro, but that is it for this clip. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my most recent reading vlog for the end part of June. Definitely not my greatest reading month, but here's hoping things pick up in July. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below about what you've been reading in June or just anything that you'd like to chat about. I'd love to chat down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. But that is all I have for this video today. Bye, guys.